Hi everyone, I'm Tim. And I'm Kat. Now we realise we haven't popped in to do a sofa video for a while, but today is just for one very specific topic, which is... Yep, so um, a few weeks ago we actually went to visit the Mixergy HQ. Um, I sort of invited us down there. I got in touch with them to ask them <laughs> some questions about their um, IHP cylinder, which we were interested in uh, taking a look at. Um, and I basically said, uh, by the way, we're not a million miles away from you, so their um, their HQ is in uh, Oxfordshire, which is only about an hour away from where we live. So we thought, well, maybe we could go and say hello to them, um, like we did with the uh, the Give Energy visit. So uh, I asked politely uh, if we would if they wouldn't mind us coming to visit, and they said, yeah, come and come on, come down, come on down and uh, say hello, and we'll mm -hmm. chat about stuff. So uh, so that's what we did, yeah, yeah, a few weeks ago. Yeah, and they were they were very welcoming. It was they seemed really um, happy to have us there and to talk us through everything. So it it was really lovely. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good uh, good couple of hours uh, chatting them, chatting to them. Uh, we spoke to Amy and Isaac. Um, I think Amy is uh, head of marketing um, with Mix G, I believe. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong, Amy. Uh, and Isaac works in their R and D labs, um, oh. which was on the same site. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the site itself is really interesting. It's actually a sort of converted set of cottages. And they basically converted these cottages into into a set of offices and an R and D lab. Um, yeah. So yeah. So it's not really where you, where you would expect or what you would expect from it. But um, yeah, it's yeah. really interesting. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was a very very quaint little uh, little site. Um, but yeah, it was nice to to have a have a nosy round and uh, and see what the R and D labs look like and. Yeah. Um, because it, it's still quite a small company. Um, yeah. They're growing, growing um, really well at the moment, and hopefully they will continue to do so, but yeah. it is still quite a small company at the yeah. moment. Something I didn't realise, actually, is they were a, um, a spin-off company from um, Oxford University, uh, oh, yeah. which I hadn't realised. So, uh, mm. yeah, that was good to find out. Uh, very interesting. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it seems they, they've got lots of things in the pipeline, but we were there specifically to talk about the, uh, the IHP cylinder, um, and, um, yeah, we, we spoke at length about that. Because uh, I had lots of questions. Um, if you'd seen my recent uh, video on uh, heat pump cylinders, I'd compare the I'd compared the specs of the IHP against uh, some of their competitors, um, and um, yeah, there were I had some questions regarding like the refrigerant use and things like that because um, I was curious to to know why they chose the um, what was it the R one three four A refrigerant, which was unusual given that it's um, being phased out in the next. Um, year or so, um, so I was uh, curious to find out what they, why they chose that, and it turns out actually um, that was uh, their original choice when they started developing the cylinder. It was 18 months ago or so, I think they said they'd been mm. working on it. Yeah. Um, so back then that was the best refrigerant choice um, for the performance that they wanted to get out of the cylinder. But actually, because of the phasing out of that particular refrigerant, they are switching over to the um, the R390, uh, no, sorry, 290. R290 uh, refrigerant, which is actually a pro propane, um, uh, sort of a natural refrigerant with a much lower global warming potential. So um, the um, the specs will change of the cylinder, in fact, because of that change in refrigerant. So um, uh, the ones that you'll be able to purchase yourself uh, within the next few weeks or so um, will actually be all R290 uh, refrigerant versions, um, which means that uh, I'm going to have to do a, an updated specs video uh, once... Oh no, <laughs> another video. <laughs> uh, once all those um, numbers are, are known, um, uh, Mixergy are going to let me know what the, the updated specs yeah. are. So I'll, I'll have a specific specs video for you at some point as and when I know what those specs are. So look out for that one in the future if you're interested in, in the, uh, the updated specs. Um, yeah. But yeah, suffice it to say, um, uh, it was uh, you know good to see that they're you know developing the uh, the R two ninety version uh, to replace the the R one three four A version. Um, yeah, but we definitely we decided that yeah we are having one of these cylinders. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we've got some of the um, chaps are coming out to come and do a little site visit with us. That's this week, isn't it? Is it this week? Oh gosh, it might be this week. I think actually. it's this week. It might actually be this yeah, week. So, so they're going to come around and have a little look, and yeah, so we can talk about the practicalities of having the system installed, yeah, where it goes, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. So obviously, we'll come back to you again when we've yeah, had that. We'll um, we'll cover all of the install uh, in great detail. Obviously, um, so obviously, the, I mentioned in my previous video that our options are either the airing cupboard or the garage. My preference would be in the garage because. Um, of uh, the the actual heat pump itself does create a little bit of noise when it's running, so I'd rather have it sort of out of earshot um, rather than um, in the airing cupboard, which is actually next mm. to the room we're in here, uh, one of the spare bedrooms. Um, and you know it might be audible um, mm. if you're sleeping overnight, um, but um, yeah, to 
mitigate against that. My preference would be the garage, but we can talk about that when they come. It sounded like that was probably, from the initial chats we were having with them, probably going to be their preferred option as well. Yeah. But I think it's really good that at this stage they are actually coming and doing potentially doing visits and or they will help you find someone that can do the install and what have you. you know you're not kind of left on your own with these things well i think because, that might be specific to us in well, that, some respects because part we, of it is but i think they will adopters, help you so they're sort of using our our install as a sort of test bed for yes. trying to work out best practices and things like that but they did say they will have i think they were going to have a list of people who could do yeah um do installs and things so that you know you can get someone who's yeah. um who knows what they're doing with this yeah so they'll be training up a load of installers and um, basically to make sure that they, they know what they're doing yeah um yeah. Uh, the one uh caveat to that is i think the um the venting would be done by a third party i think um mm. uh, that's a, a slightly different job that you can get organized yourself um but uh, you know that's to be determined um obviously we'll we'll explain mm. all about that um as and when we do our do our install videos so that'll be good yep yeah. And on the purchasing front, uh, yeah, uh, they were talking about um, actually launching a shop. Yes, an online shop uh, through the Mixergy website itself, um, where you can you should be able to purchase the, the cylinder yourself. Um, if you're um, le less comfortable doing that, then you will still be able to get an installer to purchase it through a wholesaler. So that option's available to you as well. But um, if you want to buy the cylinder yourself. There will be a shop. Mm. I think they said it would be in the next few weeks. So keep your eyes on the Mixergy website, um, um, and that will hopefully appear mm. within the next few weeks, mm. and you'll be able to see all the pricing and everything else. Yeah, that's what I liked about this. Is they're not they're not hiding anything. Sometimes it can be really hard when things are launched to see the the specs and in particular the pricing of things. And they're just putting it all out there so that even if you don't want to go and buy it from there yourself you can see what it is and what you're getting and you can see the costs because yeah. it's not always that easy to find sometimes for things like this no. when an installer is going to buy it wholesale you can't find out what the costs are and this way you can yeah um and um some people have suggested that the cost might be quite high compared to some of the competitors uh, it looks like that was actually because the um the prices that people had seen before were for the sort of the pre-release versions the um the trial versions that they were installing in uh, in various properties as um uh, you know as a as an uh, you know a, a test a test case but um the ones that will be released hopefully will be a little bit cheaper but uh, yeah keep an, keep your eye on the website and um and you'll uh, you'll see that for yourself um in due course so i think that's is that pretty much everything? That's more or less everything that we had to say um, i think um, apart from oh just to say that we are purchasing the cylinder ourselves we're yeah. not getting a free one yeah we're using our own money our real own money uh yeah so uh yeah just to be absolutely clear this is not going to be a promotional thing um we're yeah. we're we're purchasing the product because we think it looks good and it suits our needs yeah um we're obviously working with um mixergy to do the install um properly and all that but um yeah. Uh, but yeah we're you know we're, we're we're not getting a free cylinder or anything like that just to no. be completely clear no and all our opinions on it will be completely yep completely yep. our own and, yep. and, and, and honest opinions and feedback on and it. i will be doing um, plenty of videos you know talking about the performance of it uh, as and when it's installed and all that stuff um and you know i'll be showing all of the data uh, there will be nothing uh, hidden from anybody so uh, mm -hmm. yeah it'll all be completely honest and uh, our own opinions uh, yeah so. so yeah pretty exciting yeah hopefully looking forward to getting that done um you know within the next month or two we shall mm. see um exactly to be determined on the dates uh, of everything but um yeah it should all be available for you to purchase as well um pretty imminently um yeah. so keep your eyes open and uh yeah let's uh, let's see how it goes yeah okay <laughs> um, see you again soon thanks very much for watching bye bye